The Duterte administration's economic managers are rejecting proposals to fully subsidize tuition in state colleges and universities. In a position paper submitted to the president last week, Secretaries Ernesto Pernia, Carlos Dominguez, and Ben Jokno argued providing free tuition in SUCs would only benefit non-poor students, and they add that tuition is only a fraction of the total cost of tertiary education anyway. The budgetary support for the across-the-board tuition-free policy would also be unsustainable. The managers are instead pushing for a law called Unified Student Financial Assistance System for Tertiary Education, or UNIFAST, which they believe is designed to ensure effective use of public funds. To discuss more about this issue, we have with us one of the economic managers, NEDA Secretary Ernesto Pernia. Mr. Pernia, welcome to The Big Story. Uh, thank you, uh, Robby. Yeah, we, we seem to be backing into the into the story about the about the about Unifast when in fact this is a 2014 yes. law why don't we start with that what's the background to this law and what happened in 2014 this was a law that was passed in 2014 uh, yes uh, it's uh, rather incomprehensible why a law that was passed and it was sound it was a sound law mm. uh, in 2014 remains unimplemented mm -hmm. so and now they're proposing something uh, more something that is less uh, well that has little if any effect on uh, poverty reduction or uh, financing the uh, college education of poor students. Yeah. And it's also f fiscally irresponsible. Yes. Because it cannot be sustained. Yes. So, uh, for example, uh, th uh, this year only 8 billion, 8.3 billion, 8 .3 billion. Uh, has been budgeted for this uh, free tuition. For this free tuition for 1.4 million mm -hmm. SUC uh, students. students and uh, you know that uh, what, what that's really insufficient far mm -hmm. insufficient because what would be needed to fund just the tuition mm -hmm. portion of uh, uh, university cost of education is uh, at least uh, 28 billion for right. 1.4 million SUC students. On the other hand, a law that has been in place since 2014 and that nobody is talking about and that nobody brought out um, last year or this year, uh, what would uh, the UNIFAST would have, what would UNIFAST have offered instead? Uh, the UNIFAST is better targeted to really help uh, poor students mm. uh, get college education. Poor but deserving and mm. qualified students. Okay. So uh, they would be about, uh, right now, they would only constitute about 12% of uh, university, U SUC mm. student population. Mm. So this uh, across the board uh, free tuition in, in uh, SUCs would, would not really touch the poor students very much because uh, the cost of the full cost of college education, university education mm. is uh, really 60,000, not 20,000. Mm. 20,000 is just the, the tuition. tuition. That's only one third. You have living expenses. L living you have expenses transportation. is uh, thirty-five thousand, and uh, um, you know, the student materials, uh, incidentals would be about five, five thousand. Mm. So forty thousand would be uncovered, okay. which would mean that uh, the poor students would, would still be unable to go to university, to the university, yeah. to get college education, yeah. and uh, those who already who who can actually afford mm. to pay for college education in SUCs would be getting the 20,000 uh, subsidies. Yes, Ch Chairman Likwanan made a point about this, That's that right. given the cohort rate in, in, in the education system, most poor people drop out of school in, I mean, in, in grade school and high school. By the time you get to college, it That's is right. really the people who could already afford. Not to, not to make light of the situation of the people. I mm. mean, it's still, we would still wish that everybody goes through the system. Sure. But she makes a point about precisely the same point. You know, in, in, economic, in uh, ed economics of education, actually basic education should really be fully funded by, public, by the public coffers. Mm -hmm. But uh, tertiary education uh, is supposed to be mostly funded for by, by, uh, you know, by families mm -hmm. because uh, the private, private benefit mm -hmm. of college education is quite uh, yeah. quite large, mm -hmm. and uh, I the social social benefit is not as large as uh, 
Okay. Basic education. Okay, so the position is clear. Your recommendations are clear. Uh, what bottom line? What does this mean for this whole news about free education, uh, free college uh, for SUCs uh, next year? Is this on hold? Are we waiting for the president to make his decision? Uh, it hasn't been passed yet mm -hmm. as a law, mm -hmm. and uh, it's a populist uh, move mm -hmm. by uh, legislators, mm -hmm. and you can understand why they're pushing for it. Yes. But uh, it is unsustainable. Yes, but people were celebrating this and sharing the news as if this was a done deal. Is there, is there, does yeah. the president still have uh, that uh, prerogative in that room to, he, to back uh, off? The president from this? has veto power. Yeah. And the veto power says that uh, f uh, financial assistance to students should be targeted to the poor, okay. not to everybody. So he still has, uh, has that option. In the meantime, the students need not fear. Uh, if the, the poor students need not necessarily feel that uh, something is taken away from them given the UNIFAST uh, law? That's right. Mm -hmm. So, and the, the other serious downside of this uh, uh, across the board uh, free tuition in SUCs is that it's going to kill private HEIs, -E uh -huh. uh, higher education institutions. Why uh, is that? Uh, because uh, with free education, free tuition rather, free tuition in SUCs, students would be flocking to the to SUCs. The SUCs. Uh, they would be migrating from mm. a, uh, private universities to SUCs mm. because of free tuition. Yeah. And uh, w that would really uh, uh, disadvantage yeah. uh, high, uh, private HEIs, which are better rated. Not only that. Uh, they it, produce uh, yeah. better graduates. Yeah, not only that. If it starts off not based on a programmed law, they could be walking into a trap. That's they right. could be walking into free tuition next year, and then all of a sudden, there's no assurance that this will be sustained. That's right. It would, they, it would really raise expectations, false expectations, that uh, you know, uh, college education can be free mm -hmm. for the, for, I mean, tuition can be free for the entire four years course. You know, mm -hmm. so uh, it, it's really you know, I don't, uh, we don't see any sense in uh, having an inferior uh, proposal, policy, mm -hmm. or law vis-a-vis uh, a -vis, uh, superior one. Mm -hmm. So okay. the, the, the recommendation should just be uh, uh, fully fund the UNIFAST, UNIFAST and allow uh, uh, and also grant, uh, make the financial assistance uh, in the form of vouchers so mm -hmm. that students can choose between going to uh, private uh, or HGIs, HGIs or mm -hmm. going okay. to uh, SUCs. Okay. Secretary Pernia, maraming maraming salamat po. Okay. Thank you.